Things just went from bad to worse for Los Angeles, California. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no unicorns. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpack it today. Our good fuzzy friends over in Los Angeles are in a big, big, big world of hurt as we speak right now. Listen, friends, we kicked the can too far down the road. Very short sighted. All this stimulus is now starting to rear its ugly head. And those eviction bans now are all but gone. And the eviction wave has, in fact, started. We're going to look at some numbers today. We're going to have a serious conversation. We're going to put a percentage of likelihood that this has any risk factor. The reality is this. I mean, I don't know. I love real estate, work in real estate, own real estate. I'll take a hit in the next downturn. I'm just more prepared in this one. I've always told you guys as a real estate agent myself, and I hope your real estate agent saying these words to you, but I doubt they are. If you want to sit this one out, I'm willing to earn your business later. I'll If you're buying right now, I'm going to help you examine properties to make sure you're safe. So I don't send you out there exposed. No one says that. They just want another sale so they can show off on TikTok or wherever they're at. Insane. Lollipops, puppy dogs, unicorns. It's all going sideways right now. The industry wanted to tell you this time is different. This time is different. No crash risk here. The only thing that's different about this bubble versus the 08 bubble, this one's bigger. It's worse. It's way more dangerous because there was this much organic growth. Zero. All market manipulation. Well, another byproduct of stimulus now as the dust settles and there's the blowback. And we're in fact paying the economic piper as we speak. Los Angeles, you're up to bat. What are the the third biggest economy in the world? This is going to take a, this isn't a massive blow. This is a massive, I used to love LA, Hollywood Walk of Fame, Griffith Park Observatory. Take my kids down there all the time. It was great. Not anymore. Uh Uh-uh, roll up your windows, lock your doors, put on a face mask if you've got one. It is sketchy down there to say the least. Homeless population, biggest homeless population on earth is exploding and guess what it's about to deliver tens of thousands of more people to it courtesy of eviction bans the eviction filings now are pouring in mainstream media covering this one nope nope you're only going to get this here friends you're only going to get this here so today to drive our point home let's go examine the health and the fitness courtesy of eviction bans then we're going to meet back here to wrap this one up Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors. You're heading into the concrete jungle. Los Angeles, California, downtown LA, courtesy of my cell phone taken last night as we were at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum for an event. These are apartment and office buildings on the verge of default. Let's get into a recent article from the Los Angeles Times talking about the eviction tsunami already taking place. Over 40,000 eviction notices have gone out in L.A. this year, many to upscale apartments. At 1600 Vine, a Hollywood building with 375 units that's been known for attracting social media influencers who have posted from its balconies and manicured courtyard, 313 notices were issued in that period. Across Los Angeles, more than 40,000 eviction notices, the vast majority of which were three-day notices to pay or move out, have been sent to tenants since late January. They were issued at buildings across the city for amounts ranging from zero to $561,700. The 10 buildings sending the most notices to their tenants, more than 150 each, were upscale apartments in places such as downtown Hollywood and Woodland Hills. You have extremely high rent tenancies with extremely inflexible landlords, said Nelson, who's been studying evictions in LA County for a decade. The 40,000 notices were sent to residents of about 8,400 buildings. The data did not capture all the eviction notices issued by landlords through the end of July. The housing department has an estimated backlog of 5,000 paper copies received in the mail. There were also a sizable number of notices sent for large amounts. 17 properties saw notices issued for more than $100,000 in back rent. But court filings show that eviction lawsuits are rapidly increasing across the region. Eviction filings in L.A. County are now above pre-pandemic levels. And there you go, friends. Definitely not all rainbows and sunshine for our friends in Los Angeles. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends. Welcome back. L.A., you're in big trouble. 
big trouble. It's going sideways. Commercial real estate's heading back to the bank. They're losing tenants, high caliber tenants. The air is clearly coming out of the balloon. This communicated that quite clearly. It's so important right now to expect the unexpected. It's better be prepared for something to have it not happen than have something happen and not be prepared. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Those people that got evicted, they didn't have a plan. They were drunk on stimulus. They thought this time was different. The only thing that's different, my friends, this time is worse. Why? Because bigger bubble equals bigger blowback. It's as simple as that. This one is not sustaining itself. We warned about this. Now it's time to proceed with caution. I'm going to show you areas that pencil out. Your cost to carry, standard amount down, even at today's interest rate, the property can stand on its own two feet. You want to know the true value of your house? Find out what it would rent for. That's the only thing that protects you. What somebody would be willing to rent that thing for, even if it's not a rental. If you're paying more to carry your property than what it would rent for, you don't own it. It owns you because you're one hiccup away. And as the U.S. savings rate is now at an all-time low and U.S. debt is at an all-time high and mounting and the air is coming out of the balloon in spectacular fashion, this is one of hundreds of cities that's having the exact same problem. We use Los Angeles to drive our point home today. They're in big trouble, friends. That's just the reality. It's biggest, one of the biggest economies in the world, Los Angeles. Biggest homeless population in the world. Strikes happening. There's a lot of stuff going on in LA. People aren't flocking. More people leaving than moving in. And that's why I'll be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation. Ready to assist you would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.